Hey folks, how you doing? A uh, quick topic today, and that is, is sports science wasting its time? Um, this is just a quick off the, um, off the bat topic really, and that is because I was looking at some topics just to do videos on this morning, and when you look at the new topics in fitness, in news, in sports science, they are generally full of shit. Uh, <laughs> and the reason for this is, okay, let me take some of the top six topics that are trending around the internet today, uh, and let's just see why they are not so scientific. So we've got our first one. Young adults needless ner are needlessly anxious about weight. That is our number one news topic. I'm just reading it down from a laptop down there. Um, no shit. No shit that um, young adults are worried and anxious about their weight. Um, it's just a truism. It's just something that we already know to be true. Um, the second uh, little topic. Physical activity reduces the risk of falls in elderly. Brilliant. But we've known that since the 1970s. There's about 55 different studies that prove it. Um, it's already sort of implemented within GP practices, within exercise referral schemes. This, like, is not new, it's not science at all, so whoever's funding that study is just ridiculous. We're gonna move down, we're gonna go four. The next one is sustained aerobic exercise improves brain function. Wow, no shit! The idea that exercise can also improve mental function, again, has been around since about the late 70s. Nothing new, there's probably even work going back much further than that. This is not a new idea. Um, so these first three things are, the more they're truisms, they're things that have already been proven by previous science, that new sports scientists are just rehashing, redoing papers on, re-reviewing, and coming to exactly the same conclusions. Um, and by and large, the media just seems to pick them up and as if pretend that there's some kind of new magic thing. It's ridiculous. Um, we're going to carry on, we're going to carry on with this. The next one that seems to be in the media and the news today is that we had an entire, um, entire sort of five to ten minute segment on getting out in the sun, light exposure, the benefits of vitamin D, and you know you shouldn't be out too much because it might cause skin issues, but that you know vitamin D can help increase testosterone levels and it can help improve mental function, improves, you know improve your general physical health and fitness. Uh, well, yeah, this is this is not rocket science. Um, the article claimed to be unique, or the research claimed to be unique because it had proved that sun and vitamin D can help with weight loss. Well, since when is that new? Um, getting outdoors, moving, exercising is bound to help with weight loss. If you want to get more scientific, vitamin D is going to help increase your testosterone levels, which are going to help decrease fat levels. This is it's no shit Sherlock kind of stuff that we have known for decades. This is not news, and the fact that the media keep portraying this to be something rocket science, like this is something really new and really complicated, it is absolutely not. This is not sports science, this is faddish media nonsense. Uh, we're going to go for our last one, and that is, I think this is perhaps the worst of all, and this is, inactivity has been now recently proven to reduce people's muscle size. Do we not know this already? If you sit on your arms for 10 years, you can have more or less muscle the the dude that's gone to the gym for the last 10 years. This doesn't seem like rocket science to me. This doesn't seem massively complex. The idea of muscular atrophy has been known for decades, okay? Scientists knew about this back in the 50s and 60s when they were launching space programs because they had to work out ways to stop astronauts muscles atrophying when they sent them to space because there was less gravity. We've known this for 50 to 60 years now. This isn't it can't be called cutting edge sports science anymore. This is just rehashing bad old information. Like, it's just, it's just ridiculous, okay? So what I want to say is, if you're really looking for top cutting edge sports science, you need to start diversifying where you look for it. Actually look for reputable journals. Um, um, if you really want to know this kind of stuff, check out like, um, I would say the, like the UK Strength and Conditioning Association journal. That is full of some great new studies. That's where I'd start. Um, but there are so many bad journals out there. You can't rely on the TV, the radio, and things that you see in the typical internet sort of um, Buzzfeed kind of lifestyle to tell you about sports science because they're typically outdated, they're old, or they're just rehashing old, really common sense truisms. Uh, that is my rant for today, guys. What do you think? Do you think that sports science? Um, today is fairly useful. Do you think it's not? Do you think that, because I mean, I sort of think that sports science has a lot of useful research. I just think that you have to look properly for it and know how to, um, how to find it. But I want your opinions. Let me know in the comment section. If you like my little rant, hit the like button. And if you want to have some more rants, some more topics, some more chat about sports, about science, about strength and conditioning, then hit the subscribe button. Uh, I will check to you guys later.